dear brothers and sisters religions talk very much about the truth and love but do religions really have these two factors inside their religious fences its answer is no now surely most of you would feel doubt about this answer to clarify this doubt let us analyze this point now let us see where we could see the truth and the love within the religions the moral code speak the truth has been a universal one this means this code is not only connected to the religious people but also to all human beings including atheists even the atheists say speak the truth and they never say speak the lies because everybody wants others to be honest with them even within every religion a very small number of people practically follow this decree and that is a different matter finally the only question that remains is how the truth and the law are treated within the fenced religions at first let us ask a question the question is whether we can see the truth and law within those different religions mutual contradicting rituals to this question the decent answer is rituals are mere rituals in them we can't see any truth or law okay agreed now answer another question about the basics of religions unfortunately all religions give different belief answers in these different and contradicting beliefs and their explanations can we see that one and only truth to this question also the same decent answer is no beliefs are mere beliefs and they are different and opposite to one another in religions so naturally that universal single truth cannot be present there okay agreed leave that question as well now let us go to the creator god of religions can we find that universal truth there at least the decent answer to this question also is the same no this is because religions explain that one creator god in many ways his heaven in different ways his revelations in different and mutual opposing ways so we can't find that universal truth there as well now we clearly realize that god concepts of different religions exist without that universal single truth thus all of this compel us to conclude that the religions contain only beliefs and their explanations but not the universal truth unfortunately one more but an uncivilized answer also there to those about same questions that uncivilized answer says the only truth is our religion and the only god is our god because all other religions are fake or the corrupted religions this uncivilized answer is very unfortunate but it is this answer which we see all over the world and in every religion as well this senseless way of making that only truth and god to be bound within their own religion's fences is really stunning and misleading this same subject which compels god and that single universal truth to be within their own religious fences has been there on the table of debates since the beginning and created a mountain of hatred violence and bloodshed on this planet please note a point here that 
these millions of debates haven't been conducted by the ignorant common people of every religion instead they have been done by those so called the religious scholars of their respective religions to the question what is religion every religion says religion is peace yes then what is religious knowledge when we compare to the answer peace given by the religions naturally religious knowledge must be the deep knowledge of how to increase peace in the society unfortunately we see mastery of religious books as the creators of debates and its consequences are hatred violence and bloodshed thus nowhere we can see the knowledge of religious scholars producing peace on this planet had all religions followed the path of truth instead of the path of belief then that the people would not have fought one another until this point in time due to its power of human unification peace would have prevailed all the time on this planet unfortunately the weak and addicted minds of religious people have been favoring only to the belief method virus and those addicted minds are still not ready to get the vaccine of truth method of religions even for their own survival sick people like more the horrible belief path age than the religious golden age of the path of truth now sometimes one doubt may occur to religious minds and that doubtful question is don't the chanting praying meditating etc of religions bring peace of mind to humans yes sometimes they would bring peace of mind but please realize that those varieties of getting peace of mind are also possible in the path of truth that means in the path of truth of religions we also have all god concepts and their respective chants prayers meditations etc so like belief method in the truth method also we can get the same type of peace of mind one important point we must think is that this type of peace of mind is not the permanent one they are only temporary ones in fact we need permanent peace of mind and it is called peace in life getting peace in life is the real aim of any religion because religions claim that they are the peace creators on earth religions say create peace on this planet and get peace in heaven after life this clearly says that our religious duty lies in how far we make others peaceful this is because when we all of us try to make others peaceful only then the peace would come to our families and to our societies in other words heaven cannot be attained by anybody directly unless he or she works hard to generate peace on this earth truth method of religions thus calls humans to make this earth a peaceful heaven at first unfortunately belief method of religions teaches its opposite and it also instructs religious conversion or holy war for the attainment of heaven this type of teaching cost so far millions of innocent deaths dear brothers and sisters now you can clearly see the difference between the two methods of religions truth method makes this world heaven and offers heaven after that on the other hand belief method makes this world hell and offers heaven after death 
द कॉमन सेंस टेल्स दैट ये हेल मेकर कैनॉट अटेन नॉट ओनली हेवन बट ये सैक्रेड प्लेस इन दिस यूनिवर्स इनफैक्ट हेट्रेड मर्डर वॉर रिलीजियस कन्वर्शन एसेट्रा हैव मेड दिस अर्थ द वर्स्ट हेल All these horrible things happen only because of the belief methods respective fences. We know at the same time truth method of religions does not produce any kind of fence and it makes a religion the great abode of divinity. In fact, religions must have existed only for changing human beings to their greater personalities. Unfortunately, religions have been working for increasing the intensity of different types of selfish fences. Here, please note one point very seriously that we can't explain anything pertaining to religion and God according to our likings because every word has its own logical rigid meaning behind. can we teach love as hatred tell me my dear brothers and sisters can we teach murder or killing as sacrifice no isn't it why because every word has its own logical meaning behind for example sacrifice is the word which shows one selfless work for others and it is strictly connected to broad mindedness and love for fellow human beings unfortunately these belief methods of religions changed its meaning totally and instead introduced its opposite meaning in its place now let us see how religions use the great word sacrifice within the religions and the great word sacrifice has been interpreted as self killing for one's own religion killing humans of other faiths holy war animal killing for god and so on the meaning of the great word sacrifice has become killing only in the belief method of religions but truth method of religions interprets sacrifice as the divine selfless work to improve on some purity of heart to attain heaven or salvation this horrible belief method wrongly defines good as bad the love as hatred and the sacrifice as killing oh no doubt this inverted method is possible only to those people who have mistaken help for heaven please open the eyes of truth and see how terribly the belief method shunted human kind's heart the truth method of religions says god is one and his heaven is also one do good and attain heaven on the other hand belief methods of religions claim do our religions rituals without fail and climb up the only golden ritual ladder to heaven because all other religions ritual ladders are made up of rusted iron and broken in fact no religion or sect should claim creator god's heaven only for themselves really such claims are blasphemous says truth path or truth method of religions there the great standard do good and get heaven does not work at all oh how pathetic these belief methods of religions are can great god put forth a standard for attaining his heaven which can be worked out even by robots mechanical rituals can be given as the standard if robots are planning to go to heaven unfortunately the same mechanical standard is kept for attaining heaven for human beings as well this compels us to conclude that truth 
love etc great qualities have nothing to do with these belief methods of religions when you see the absurdity of the religions belief methods in the name of god and religion i think at least now you can understand about the aliens human mind theft i have already explained in my several earlier videos about the aliens human mind theft and about their secret subtle sorcery system the very important point is that they have been thieving human activated mind since the stone age besides all human divisions up to this point in time have been made with their own horrible dark hands they have been dividing humans only for the sake of their own secret subtle sorcery system these divisions include the various divided religions and their respective sects even the proofs are discussed in some of the earlier videos just for reference i am giving some earlier videos links in the description box and if anybody is interested please visit the links when we speak about the greatness of truth method against the belief method here the two questions come are what is god and what is religion but in belief methods of religions the equivalent two questions are which is the real god and which is the real religion of god just see the difference again truth method gives unanimous answer to its two questions its two answers are truth is god and love is god and these two unanimous answers unite whole human kind on the other hand belief methods of the religions have two unanimous answers too but unfortunately they say our god and his name are real and only our religion is the true religion that can take you to heaven these two answers led to millions of debates hatred murders and to terrible holy wars please see the vast differences between the truth method and belief method of the religions if we go further to see one more difference there we see that the truth method promotes peace of mind peace in family peace in society and world peace as well on the other hand belief method do not care the family peace they never mind husband wife fights and divorces and they don't look at peace in the society and the world peace as well these are happening due to the blind religious misunderstandings namely religious conversion holy war and the world winning and world ruling concepts of religions in fact religious conversion has been just the mechanical process of pushing a human sheep from one fenced field to another fenced field this mechanical activity doesn't have any religion in it totally religions belief method not only stood against different types of peace on this planet but also they have killed peace altogether on this planet so please see this point as another major difference between truth method and the belief method of religions finally with a question let me conclude this question asks when religions have different belief foundations of their own and when they ignore the universal truth foundation how can they be called as religions if there is no truth foundation surely we can't see religion of any kind there still with those opposing belief foundations how can these religions exist at all as religions it is as absurd as midnight sun no light still we should believe it is sun oh 
this has been really an intellectual tragedy moreover without truth and love can any god in this universe possess divinity can we guess divinity only with beliefs without truth and pure love no because divinity is created only with these basic factors so called truth and pure love thus belief method loses this divinity as well truth method says that the growth of religion is not the growth of population in them instead the growth of religions is based on the number of broad minded great personalities in them this is because those broad minded great personalities increase peace in all aspects of human life and in the society thus truth method is the only solace and the solution to all religions of this planet aliens have been trying for human divisions in many ways from the beginning for their own purpose they are dividing work starts from ego fence and it spreads through family fence ancestral lineage fence caste fence sect fence cult fence religion fence language fence regional fence national fence and so on all these fences have produced hatred violence and bloodshed in this world so to materialize the greatest human civilization so called the warless world and the heavenly world of pure law we need to nullify the effects of all these alien created fences to achieve this great divine mission we need a simple transformation that easy and great transformation has been the transformation from belief method of religions to the great truth method of religions since the truth is a thousand times better than belief if we follow the truth method we will get a thousand times better world in the future we know that truth is god and this is not a particular belief of any religion therefore let us hope that the truth method of religion will work wonders on this planet in uniting all human kind under its glorious roof of love thank you